Welcome. Let's learn how to submit final grades from Oaks to Banner from our final adjusted grade column. Now before we get started, some important notes. One, remember you can only submit a capital letter grade, not a lowercase letter, numeric, or a percentage grade. You can only submit grades during the open grading window set by the Registrar's Office. Only the official course instructor can submit grades from Oaks to Banner. And remember, most importantly, that this method is an additional way to submit grades, but th the traditional way via MyCharleston is still available. Both methods can be used as long as the official grading period is open. Now, the process that you're going to use to submit your grades to Banner is going to depend upon whether you have chosen to release the final calculated grade or the final adjusted grade. If you're not sure which one you've chosen, We'll go to Grades. In your gradebook, choose Settings, Calculation Option, and scroll down to the Final Released Grade. In this case, Adjusted Final Grade is the one I'm releasing. And Close. All right, let's get started. In your Oaks class, you're going to click on Grades and Grades. And once we're in the gradebook, We'll choose Enter Grades. First, let's make sure that your final calculated grade is correct. Next, we're going to scroll to the right where you see both Final Calculated and Final Adjusted, and you'll notice that there are no grades in the Final Adjusted Grade column. To remedy this, click the drop down and choose Enter Grades. If these grades are accurate, merely click the arrow next to each student to transfer the grade. If at any time you wish to change a student's grade, you may by just typing into this box and saving it. When finished, click Save and Close. Now in your final adjusted grade column, you should see the numeric grade as well as the letter grade. Next, we're going to click on the Submit Grades to Banner button. Next to Grade Type, be sure that Final Grade is selected. If you're exporting grades from an Oaks cross-listed course, you'll see an additional item called Scope in this area. You must select the course at the top of the window for each section that you want to submit. For example, if you have three courses cross-listed, you must perform these steps for each section in the cross-listing, so three different times. The next thing we want to do is make sure that all of these boxes are checked because only checked students will be submitted to Banner. We do this by clicking the very top box. Double check this by scrolling all the way to the bottom and making sure there's not a page two, three, etc. If I were to click export now, the grade in the current final grade column is what would be submitted. This grade comes directly from your final adjusted grade column in the Oaks Gradebook. However, you'll also notice that we have an override grade column here to the right. The override grade column allows you to submit a different grade than what Oaks has calculated. You may do this by just typing in a letter grade. Again, be sure it is a capitalized letter. This column is also where you will submit an I for an incomplete, and I do this by typing a capital letter I in the override grade column. Remember, if a student has earned an F in your class, you must give a last date of attendance. By default, this will be whatever day you are submitting your grades, but you can change that to be whatever the last date was that they attended your course. This is only on final grades, and it's only for students that have earned an F. The last three columns will never be used at the College of Charleston. Remember, an incomplete goes in the override grade, not in the default incomplete grade. We will not use that column. We will not use the incomplete extension expiry date, nor will we use excluded. When you're ready, click Export. The first step, you'll see it's sending with the results here on the lower right to be sent. When it's completed, your status will say either success or failed. And then it will tell you how many were successful 
and how many were failed. To find out why they failed, look to the result and history columns on the right-hand side. In this case, all of these were accepted by SIS, which is Banner, and I received a successfully processed grades, which means now that if I were to log in to my Charleston, I should see these grades submitted for these students. After submitting, if you don't see the successfully processed grades, then you need to review the error messages. These are available in the knowledge base as well as on the TLT website. See if you can use them to fix the errors and try again. Remember, you can always go into My Charleston and submit the grades manually as you have in the past. You can also contact your instructional technologist to see if they can help you find a solution. Don't forget to verify in Banner that your grades were properly submitted.